Internet, how is it going? My name is High and Fiverr, and today, oh man, I have a very special battle. This is against the Clouds Liberation. Oh my god. This was, I shit you guys not, a 60, not 16, 60 turn battle against the man, and it was it was tense, it was epic, and it was a hell of a lot of fun. And it started off right here when this motherfucker brought Scarfed Camera up, and I was not expecting that thing to be Scarfed back in the eruption, which means I lose my Torterra for absolutely nothing instead of getting up rocks. And rocks would have been huge in this game because, I kid you not, when I say this thing was 60 turns, 35 of that at least was a 2v2 and one of those two was this guy right here my Pella Storm, who is an absolute monster but I do need to fix his EV spread because that really hurts me in this game but we'll be talking about that a little bit later he's gonna encore me and I'm gonna be stuck in substitute which is not good at all I do have the hurricane which is what I went for there and unfortunately he's running that kinda of bulky samurai step but I'm not going to sit here and just waste some substitutes. I'm going to leave. And uh, he's going to be going into his Mighty Yenna. The Scatter is a bulky Mighty Yenna, which I, it's a set that I run myself. Uh, my set's a little bit different than his, but I kind of like it. But I go ahead and do. We got the beat because I'm not afraid of basically anything this thing has. I am running Prankster Volby. I got the Baton Pass. I was expecting him to uh, go for an attack. And uh, he didn't do that. So I'm going to go into Spoons. And I make a huge misplay here, and uh, forgetting that Arbok can get Sucker Punch. Wasn't really sure if he was carrying it or what, uh, but I do lose Spoons, and I was debating going for Calm Mind that turn, and I should have, just to at least scout to see if he had it, but this was like 1 in the morning, and I made a huge misplay. But we don't fuck around, we go into Absolution, we go for Pursuit, because we know he's going to switch out, and he lives. That's going to matter later, and you'll see why. So uh, he's going to bring back my Diana. I will get the uh, attack drop, and I don't really want to stay in on this thing because uh, I'm banded Absol. Uh, don't just wanted to try it out, and it's not bad, but I definitely think Life Orb is better because being able to switch moves certainly would have helped. So I'm going to bring out Chuck, my Gramble, and get toxic, but that's okay because I'm carrying uh, Heal Bell. I wasn't expecting him to stay in because most Grambles carry close combat. I figured he would have been threatened by that, and uh, no, he's actually going to stay in and roar me out. Uh, I got a crit, which clearly doesn't matter because it didn't do any damage, Val, but he brings me back into Absol, so he probably doesn't think I'm carrying the superpower because I switched out on this thing before, but no, I'm carrying it. I'm Choice Banded. That's going to be a kill. Get out of here. Mighty Yenna, that... It was a crit. I mean, I know it's resisted, but that was pretty manly. So, uh, I'm going to get a kill with, with Banded Absol, and that's going to be sweet, because I don't like walls. He's going to go into this thing, and uh, now that I have minus one attack and defense, no, I can't hit this thing. I'm figuring that this thing is going to be Evil Light. Uh, most Meganiums that I see do carry that, because they have, you know, like the Synthesis, and they can get the, the Leech Seed up. Uh, but I'm going to switch out to Chuck because I'm not threatened by this thing, and he actually goes for the Toxic, which is fine by me. And uh, I carry the Heal Bell on this guy, because I'm running like a support tanky kind of Gramble, which is kind of cool, I like this set. But um, Heal Bell is going to be nice, get my poison off, and like I said, I'm not threatened by this thing, I'm not specially invested, I mean I have some health investment, I think I have a, like, a minuscule amount of special defense EVs in this thing. Uh, an energy ball is going to do about a third, uh, and I'm going to fire off a toxic of my own. This thing might have aromatherapy. I don't know at this point, but I'd, I might as well go for it just to see, uh, because if this thing is an Eviolite set, it's still free damage, which is always nice. So uh, now I'm going to switch out because I see that he's got energy ball. Got to go into We Got the Beat because I know I can take this. This thing's got my special uh, defense EV investment in. You know, I'm not threatened by it because I think this only attacking move is Energy Ball. It's the only thing he shows me in this match, and I don't know if he shows me all four of his moves or not. But um, I do know that he's got the leftovers now, so that means I'm less afraid of it because I know I can take it out in about two hits. But um, it's actually going to be threatened out, so I'm going to go for the substitute here because... Uh, 
why not? I mean, one of the things this team was kind of designed around was being able to tail glow baton pass a sub to either Pelipper or uh, Kadabra. almost forgot his name there, I almost called it Alexam. But unfortunately I lost my Kadabra, which would have been huge, that would have been really nice to have. And uh, I mean, later on we'll talk about the baton passing to you Pelipper because that becomes a huge part of this game. And so I'm going to baton pass with the plus three or plus two, whatever tail glow is, I don't remember. Uh, but I'm going to get that sub and the, the uh, baton pass into my Pelipper. But he goes for Haze, so all of those stat changes are now eliminated. But I am safely behind a sub, so I'm not too, too concerned at this point because I can fire off a Hurricane, whether I hit this thing, which I'm convinced is a UV light, or something else. It's going to do decent damage, and I get a crit there, which means it probably would have been like a four hit KO, uh, and he goes for the magic coat, but I'm safely behind a sub and I don't care, and because of that crit, I am not afraid of him living another one and then hitting me with a magic coat, or mirror coat, sorry, which easily would have taken out Pelostorm, which I desperately need at this point in this game. So he's going to bring out Soy. And uh, I would love to scream its name like he would, but that is him. I'll let him do that. And uh, I'm going to go for the Hurricane on this thing. And it's like a three-hit KO if I'm lucky. And uh, I don't know what its moveset is. Uh, so I'm going to switch out and go into Chuck because I'm convinced that I can take a Scald and get a Heal Bell off. And that isn't the case because it gets a fucking crit. Now, that's huge. And it's going to come into play later because I can't get rid of poison. And if I could get rid of poison, I would be in a much better position to win this game. But uh, a few misplays on my end, and that's just unfortunately how it goes. So I'm going to go for the Psycho Cut here because Band-Aid and Super Luck, and that's a high crit rate or crit chance. That's going to be a crit for me. So crit for crit, uh, I, we kind of expect it from Absol. That Skull kind of mattered a little bit more. I don't know how useful his Samurai would be in this game, uh, but again, I didn't know if I could outspeed him. I do have max speed, and unfortunately, uh, he does get the kill. I wasn't sure if he was scarfed or if he was, uh, whatchamacallit, specs, uh, but now I do know that he's scarfed. And uh, I know I'm going to take the eruption and be able to fire off a hurricane. Now, I was expecting him to switch, which is why I went for hurricane and not uh, hydro pump because hurricane was just, coverage-wise, it was the better move. If he went into his meganium, hydro pump wasn't going to do shit, and I was kind of hoping that he would do that. So it's kind of a misplay, kind of the safe play, and uh, unfortunately, he, it's not going to be a, a kill. So he's going to bring out his uh, war turtle, and I'm going to excuse me, go for the hurricane again, that's going to kill that thing, so that's not going to be a problem anymore, and um, I think right now it's 3 to 2 is the count, I could be mistaken, and so I, I've got some leftovers, and he's going to go into got dialect, this here is the play that I think matters most in this game, because I don't run speed EVs on my Pelipper because it's meant to be a bulkier subset, and I should have because if I was faster than this thing, I wouldn't have gotten a fucking Toxic Orb, and I wouldn't have to be dancing around all game. So, uh, unfortunately, I am going to be poisoned after this turn, which is going to be massive in this game. I mean, holy shit. Uh, like I said, 60 turns, and 30 of them are basically me dancing around trying to figure out a way that I can win this because I'm in a really bad position but there is a way that I can make this thing happen so I will die or my sub will die and I will be able to kill him with a hurricane because fuck I don't miss hurricanes in this I miss one and it matters but when it's the only one you miss it's just the way it's gonna happen so uh, I'm gonna die, get hit by some poison and here is where it becomes the 2-2 dance off of death and uh, I go into we got the beat because the only way that I can win this game is to bring in Volbeat on Meganium get up a substitute and a tail glow and baton pass it to my Pelostorm which is now its name because the game grumps and yeah so if I can do that and if I hit my hurricanes I think I can win this game because 
neither of his last two have anything that's super effective on my Pelipper, which means if I can get in behind a sub, I should be able to take one. And uh, this is where I'm going to start to speed up a ton. I'm going to go for the Moonlight. And this is what's going to happen a lot. I'm going to go for Moonlights and Substitutes and Baton Passes. Uh, here I predicted him to go for the uh, Fire Move, which he does, which I can take. And I know I can take another, or I'm hoping I take another one. I live with three, and I go for the Roost, because now I'm, now I'm okay. And uh, now I'm like, okay, now I'm going to switch out. Um, he also switches out. Actually, no, I go for the Roost, thinking I could live one more, and Poison wouldn't matter. So now I'm up at... Uh, higher health, which is cool, but uh, his Meganium is faster than me because, again, don't have speed EVs. Definitely need to change that because that really would have helped me out. There's his aroma, aroma, uh, his ar aroma, uh, aromatherapy, and he's not going to be poisoned anymore. That sucks. And uh, so now I've got two toxic things, and I can't keep either in for very long. Both have uh, health restoring moves in Moonlight and uh, Roost, but uh, I can't just get this thing to go into uh, Pelipper, uh, and he shows that he's got HP Grass, which I'm fine with. I'm going to Baton Pass into Pelipper, and now I'm behind a substitute. Unfortunately, I don't have the Tail Glow, which I should have just done. Uh, I fe think I could have survived a few more turns of the Toxic Damage, but I do go into Pelipper, and uh, I missed the Hurricane, which, that's the one that I missed, and it matters. At least I'm pretty sure that's where I missed it, but, um, yeah, that's kind of sucks, because now I have to switch out. He's going to go for Hidden Power Grass again. Uh, I know I can take these for a while, get some Moonlight up, get some health, and again, he can't do anything with his camera up on his Volby unless he goes into Lava Plume. And if he goes into Lava Plume, I can go into my uh, thing, my, my Pelipper, and take that. So I have to... Now I'm in a position where, unfortunately, I can't get up a tail glow and get the baton uh, sub up. So un unless I somehow miraculously pull that out, I'm in a very bad position here. I will go for the hurricane, and I'm actually going to do a ton of damage there. Um, I don't get the confusion, which sucks, but he's going to go for synthesis, and I think I go for roost because I am still behind this sub, and that just shows if I could get that tail glow, I would win this game. And I don't know how I'm going to get the Tail Glow because I have no way to safely do it. There's just too much toxic damage coming up. Substitute's going to wear me down as well. And, you know, this thing's got leftovers, but it only negates one turn of toxic. So, got a Moonlight. And uh, now i got to check and see if he's going to be into his Lava Plume. And if he is, once again, I can Baton Pass and take it. Or I can just switch out. Doesn't matter either way because I'm going to be taking two hits. And, you know, 112 damage, switch, or 112, damage, 112 health, switch, Lava Flume, take it, okay. Now, I, now I'm just thinking, okay, can I live in another one? Yes, 2 HP, go for the Roost, I'm going to be okay. Uh, here, I'm not sure if I go for the Roost or if I go for the attacking move. I do go for the Roost, which is the smarter play, because I can take a couple more turns of Toxic before I'm really in a bad position. Uh, but he's actually going to switch out, and uh, I'm going to go for the Hurricane here. Which, I was like, okay, if he stays in, I win the game. That's what I have to do. And, uh, unfortunately, he does switch out. I do get the confusion, and I get the confusion hacks. But, I make a really bad play, because uh, he goes back into his camera up, and I go for the sub instead of the moonlight. Um, and now I'm down to 9 health, and I go for the baton pass, because, at the end of the day... You know, being behind that sub will really, really help me. So he goes to the lob plume. It's not going to kill the sub, and unless he gets a crit, and doesn't kill the sub. Now I'm really low, and I should have went for the uh, roost here because it's just I might actually might have went for the roost here. I'm not sure. And if I did go for the roost here, I should have went for the uh, the hurricane and killed that thing. And I didn't. So that's the misplay that kind of cost me the most. Because if I killed that thing, yes, I would have had like three health. But I could have switched into my Volbeat and survived on his Meganium and gotten the sub up and then pulled off a Roost and won the game. 
And uh, unfortunately, I do kill that, but he's going to be able to kill me off next turn with an energy ball. And uh, the, the battle is actually a few turns longer than this. I was thinking maybe I could stall him out of energy balls and eventually get him to struggle, but then I realized he's got a lot of other moves. And that's not the case. So good game, Clouds. It was fucking awesome, and I love you, and you should check him out, and rate, comment, and sub, and peace.